morning. Ah, lika poya, lika zata, yili marosa. Oh Lord, help them. In the name of Jesus, let them open this morning. Let them go to open this morning. You know, you shall wait. In hey, Jesus, my name, we are praying. Shall we begin to pray? And for the presence of the Lord this morning, say in the name of Jesus, presence of the Lord, Holy Spirit of the Lord, come upon us this morning, in the name of Jesus, come upon us this morning, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of the Lord, come down mightily, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the Lord, come down mightily, come and manifest your power, come and demonstrate your power, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, come down, Holy Spirit, come down, manifest your power, demonstrate your power, come and take over everything from beginning to the end, in the name of Jesus, we commit the ministration to you this morning, manifest your power, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let that be sense and wonders. What about we say? With that sense and wonder, my people, my people will not believe in the name of Jesus. Our Father and the Lord will be ministered this morning. And it's a sense and wonders. The Lord will give him one chance in the name of Jesus. The Lord will pack the word of the mouth with power, with authority, with miracles, with sense and wonders in the name of Jesus. There is this morning service. There is a real user service in the name of Jesus. It's a real user service. It's a real user service in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, come down this morning. Manifest of power. Demonstrate of power. Demonstrate of power. Manifest of power. Demonstrate of power. Come down this morning. In the name of Jesus, let that be a counter this morning. In the name of Jesus, every family shall be blessed this morning. In the name of Jesus, every one of us shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, all our relatives, all our members shall be blessed this morning. Who say about that, what this life, this service online shall be blessed this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, come down this morning. Oh Lord, come down this morning. In Jesus, my name we are praying. Say in the name of Jesus, we hand over our friends to the Lord, to your hand, O oh Lord. Oh Lord, our Father, empower them, O oh Lord, strengthen them, O oh Lord, encourage them, O oh Lord, be with them. Do not forsake them, do not abandon them. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, financially, spiritually, physically, maritally, O oh Lord, bless them. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, encourage them, O oh Lord, visit them. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, visit them, O oh Lord, visit them, O oh Lord, encourage them, O oh Lord, bless them. In the name of Jesus, this meaning will not scatter in their hand. In the name of Jesus, this meaning will move to the next level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will manifest His power in their Life. The Lord will demonstrate the power of their life in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the price of power, let the price of mercy rest upon them in the name of Jesus. And all the ministers that will be using along, along, alongside with him this morning, the Lord will empower them, the Lord will charge them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, the power of this morning, charging of this morning, power will come down, Holy Ghost come down, Holy Ghost come down, power will come down. We are ready this morning. Oh my man, first of power, oh my demonstrate of power in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, destroy every kind of darkness, every darkness of power that will be assigned against the money service. Holy God, to show them. Power God, to show them. Power God, to show them. Power God, to show them. Every territorial power, every occultic power, terrestrial power, marine power, sabbatine power that will be assigned against this money service. Holy God, to show them in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 15, verse 13, he said, Consume them in rocks. Consume them, they may not be. Let them know that God led Jacob unto the head of the earth. Oh Lord, consume them. Oh Lord, consume them. Oh Lord, consume them. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, to show them. O oh Lord, consume them in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, manifest of power. Demonstrate of power in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, come down this morning in the name of Jesus. Bless, bless every family this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless every your name. Lord, we worship you. For in Jesus' my name, we are praying with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, set to praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's begin to appreciate him. We need to worship him this morning. Just wave your hands to the King of Glory. The one who has counted us worthy to be among the living. He's the faithful God, he's the righteous God. Why don't you wave your hands to the altar finisher of your faith? Wave your hands to the one that has kept you from January to this very moment. Wave your hands to the one who has been your sustainer, your provider, your protector. Just wave your hands, if not for God, if not for God, where would you have been? If not for God, where would I have been? He's worthy.
place for this time of praise and worship. No one is as great as God. And I pray for everyone wherever you are all over the world in the name of Jesus. For no one is great like Jesus. I pray for you. In any situation, anything that is exalting itself against the knowledge of Christ in your life, heaven will bring them down in the name of Jesus. God will manifest himself in your life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. You are welcome to service today in the name of Jesus. This is Calvary Freedom Apostolic Ministry. Can you clap for Jesus? Jesus is wonderful. Wherever you are there watching all over the world, please make sure that you are ready. The service has started and God Almighty who has brought you will say to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will say to you in Jesus' name. You are welcome to service. Let us have it in mind. This is our month of restoration. I pray for you. I pray for myself. In any way you need a God quick intervention restoration, the Lord shall restore it and intervene mightily in the name of Jesus. Everything that needed restoration in your life, heaven will attend to it and it will be restored in Jesus' name. So once again, you are welcome to this online service and uh, by our Father in law, Pastor Peace King so yeah, through by the help of the Holy Spirit, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you are on that matter, heaven will intervene and you will give you joy in Jesus' name. Please let's listen to our following announcement. Please know that if you have testimony, no matter what the testimony is, please, you can send it to us on every of our social media and we, it shall be read clearly here and the Lord's name will be glorified. Please make sure that we give testimony. Let people know that indeed God is doing wonders in your life. Do not keep it to yourself. Let other people be blessed by that which God has done. And God Almighty will do more for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I say God Almighty will do more for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us know that every Sunday like this on, on, uh, is our Sunday glorious worship that will start from 10 a.m. online. Please, it's just 10 a.m. to 11. Please make sure you are connected. Get it, and the Lord God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you as you do it. If you have not, if you have just joined it or you have joined, please go to that place, the button of share. Share it. Invite people to watch party. Make sure that every of your loved ones, everyone is blessed by this, and your life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Because in a short while, our Father will be coming up. He will be praying for you, he will be ministering life, and your life will not remain the same. So please, if you have not connected, if you have not told someone, if you see those people have not connected, please call them now and let everybody be connected so that the name of the Lord will be glorified in their life in Jesus' name. Every Tuesday on this Monday, we have our Tuesday service. This is a freedom revival hour, which is breaking the yoke of marital failure. What is that thing you are passing through your marriage, financial crisis? In any form, the Lord has said to serve and pastor so, hey, to bless you and your marriage will not remain the same. All the turbulence in your marriage, the Lord will take them off and you will not experience them again in Jesus' name. So please make sure you get connected and the time is 10 a.m. 10 a.m. The Lord will bless you as you connect to it in Jesus' name. Please, immediately after the service in the evening of 8 on every Sunday, we have our house fellowship program. Please note that if you are not in any house fellowship, you can send a message. We can tell you the one that is closer to you. Make sure that you attend and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. And the time is 5 p.m. in the evening contact and make sure that you are connected to one absolute center so that you will not be missing what the Lord is doing at this time. Praise God. Praise God. Please, all of our online service are very, very important. There's no online service that is not important. All online service. We have told us that if our glow is doing this midnight something that you can just get 100 naira glow for five days and you'll be watching every 12 midnight so you can use Watching all the vigil, the, the, the online vigil this Thursday and Friday. The Thursday and Friday. The Thursday is breaking the breaking breakthrough prayer from action, from problem, from any form. And the Lord will be doing it for you and be setting you free in the name of Jesus. And our Father in the Lord, His Son, His servant, Pastor Peace, and the Lord will bless you as you connect in Jesus' name. And every Friday also, Friday, every night, Friday, the night also with you. Please 
Any dream you are having, dream interpretation and prayer, any dream that is disturbing you, confusing you, you don't know what to do, please collect and the Lord will bless you as you do so in Jesus. Please, in all of this, make sure that you are not being selfish. Make sure that you connect. Make sure that you connect, you invite others and share. Press the like button, share it, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Are you ready for what God is about to do this morning? With the uh, with clapping offering and the shouting of Holy Ghost, that's what my Father is the Lord. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are happy to see in the life in the land of the living, shout a hallelujah. I think you know that today is the day that the Lord has made, and you will rejoice and be glad in it. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. 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 The Lord God Almighty will have his way in our life in the name of Jesus. The name of God will be glorified. I want us to begin to pray and begin to thank God because God is able to do all things, because he's a faithful God. Begin to worship him this morning. Worship him, worship him. Bless the name of God. I want you to begin to worship him. Bless the name of God. Bless you. Worship him, worship him. Bless the name of God. Worship him. Bless the name of God. Bless the name of God. Worship him. Worship him this morning. Bless the Holy Name. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for what you are doing in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you for what you are doing in our lives. Thank you for what you are doing all over the world. Thank you, Thank you because you have helped us to subdue this pandemic. Thank you because the wave is going down. Thank you, Thank you because everyone saying amen the Lord has kept us through. We thank you, Lord, because none of us shall be put to shame. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, come and have your way. Come and glorify yourself. 
And I pray, Lord, as you go to your word this morning, come and visit us in your word. Let the entrance of your word give us life. And let the name of God be glorified. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I want to bless everyone that you are watching online. Wherever you may be, the Lord will do it in your life. And you will never be put to shame. Watching, if there is any CAFA member that is not on ground on, online, I want everybody to connect them. They have to connect now. How should you be a child of God? For the past three to four months, you did not go to church. And just Sunday service, you cannot wash. Please, all the workers, all every one of them, I want to note them after the service. You have to con uh, I will have to tell them, are ah, you not in service? What does it cost? You don't need, if, if you can't give your tithe and offering, use that tithe and offering or whatever to buy data. At least with 200 naira data, with 500. So there's no excuse. Some people, they are just lazy. And you cannot tell me you don't have uh, light to charge since yesterday to this morning. So please, until the church resume, let everybody make every effort to wash online. So those who are not washing online, this is 10 to 11. Are they sleeping or what are they doing? So if you don't have time for God, God cannot have time for you. Maybe that us in Jesus' name. So send my message to those who are not online. Send my message that what are they doing by 10 to 11.30 on Sunday service? Are they going to say they don't have money for data or they are not interested or they are no longer concerned? May God help us. Please, I want everybody to concentrate to want to go to the world. Open our Bible for 121. That's what the Holy Spirit laid in my mind this morning. Psalm 121. That's the first thing we are reading this morning. So please read it. Uh, open your Bible to it. Psalm 121. The Holy Spirit laid it in my mind for us to use it to pray before we go to the message. Hallelujah. This month is our month of restoration. So the message of today is based on restoration, the law and the restoration of glory. And any glory that has been affected, the Lord will restore them. Amen. I say the Lord will restore your glory. The Lord will restore your joy. The Lord will restore your fortune. The Lord will restore everything the enemy has taken away, physically and spiritually, in the name of Jesus. You know, as people, some families of people, they are crying, they are weeping, they are not happy because they lost job, they lost family members, they lost, lost customer. Some people, they are smiling now. In fact, some people, they are praying that the coronavirus should not go. Praise the Lord. They are praying that, ah, Lord, let this uh, pandemic be extended for the next six months. In fact, some people, they don't want church to resume. They don't want school to resume. They, don't, they still want lockdown. Why? Because they have made a lot of billions. Yes, it is mercy that is crying. Hey, this are, but some people, I'm not talking about anybody, but some people, they are still praying. Even though common man like you, common people like you, they are making portion out of it. So some people, they, they did not lose their, in fact, the kind of way they did not expect in the next 20 years, coronavirus brought it to their doorstep. Pool money. Praise the Lord. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I learned that even though Nigeria wants to use like, um, is it 20 or 12 billion or 23 billion? I pray. pray. 30, billion. Eh? 30 billion to kill pests in 12 states. 12, ah, Nigeria is an issue. Ah, if they can use 13 billion to kill uh, grass cutter, pests, ah. Well, if they share that money to farmers, they don't need to plant. <laughs> let us just let those 12 states and give to the farmer. Okay. We ask you, uh, do you want pests to go or the money? They just say, let the pests be eating what they want to eat. So what I'm saying is that as many of you that you are counting losses, things have not been the same or because of the sudden change in the country, I want to pray for you this morning. Before the end of June, there will be a restoration. Amen. Many people, they have lost their marriage. People think that this uh, pandemic will bring families together. But as a pastor, I want to tell you, a lot of women, they have lost their husband. 
In fact, some men will even pack up, will not come back because of virus. Some, they are hooked in Abuja, some, they are hooked in London, and they, they, they like it to be you. They are not just hooked, they are hooked in the hand of strangers. I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything you have lost financially, maritally, physically, job, peace of mind, progress in any area, by the power of resurrection, the power that created the heavens and the earth, I decree there will be resurrection. There shall be resurrection. There shall be resurrection. There shall be resurrection. Shall be resurrection. So let's go to that Psalm 121. That's the first thing the Holy Spirit laid in my heart. I will read. I, I want you to even read after me. So wherever you are, I believe this time around you should not be eating. We are in the presence of God. So if you are at home, you are eating. Leave your food so that the food will not enter your nose. So leave the food. Let's finish service. After service, you can eat, you can drink. So I want you to say after me, anything you are doing now, suspend it. Know that you are in the presence of God. Ah, Psalm 121 verse 1. Say after me. Say, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence come on my help? My help comes from the Lord, which made the heaven and the heart. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keep his rest shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. So I pray for you. You will say this prayer before I declare unto you. Say, Lord my Father, I look unto you this morning. I look unto you this hour. Let my help call. Send help to me, O oh Lord. I need your help. I need your tender help. I need your sunny help. I need help of God. Open your mouth and talk to God. Lord, send your help. I need help. We are expecting and we are not expecting. Oh Lord, let your help locate me. Let your help locate me. Let the help of God locate me. In the areas I'm expecting, in the area I'm not expecting, help of God, look at me, look at me, help of God, look at me, help of God, look at me, help of God, look at me, pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you. I pray for everyone that can say amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive the help of God. On that matter, receive the help of God. Amen. Receive the help of God. Amen. God will send angels to help you. Amen. God will send men to build your house. Amen. In the name of John, there was a man at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. Every year I used to miss opportunity. The opportunity always come, but because there is no helper. I decree by the encounter that that man had when he, he saw Jesus, his help came that day. His sorrow was turned to joy. 38 years of waiting in vain turned to a miracle. And today we are reading about it. I don't want to know how long you have been stranded. Either this year or over the years. I don't know how many years you have been on that situation that opportunity has been passing by you. Locally and internationally. Now receive the help of God. I say receive the help of God. Marita help. Financial help, physical help, local help, international help, help from where you are expecting, help from unexpected and your source, help that is more than your prayer, help that is more than your age, help that you will bring a bad testimony, help that will bring your by your joy, help that will bring restoration, help that will make you to recover, help that will set to you, help of miracle, help of joy, help us we look at you. Any power blocking, manipulating, and injuring your help and efforts, I bind them. I bind them. I bind them. All our strange help and efforts, let them restore them. Ah, that's in my soul. Those who are supposed to help you, that the enemy has manipulated the way. The help you're supposed to have received, that has gone down the drain because of manipulation. I decree. 
by the power of resurrection. Let that uh, be restored. Let it be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. Help of God. Be restored in your life. Help of God. Be restored in your life. All your estranged help, manipulated help. All your estranged helpers, manipulated helpers. By the power of God. Lord, restore them. Amen. Let God go and speak to them. Amen. Let them begin to hear your voice. Amen. Let them know our peace of mind until they locate you, Amen. until they come to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. don't so much help you that they are poisoning their mind. They, they have given them false impression about you. Ah, God will defend you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Where you cannot come, where you don't, where you don't have access to your helper to convince them that this is not true. Apple will go and convince your helper. God will raise a voice for you. Somebody will speak for you. Angel will speak for you. Heaven will speak for you. In the ears of your helpers, in the dream of your helper, in the life of your helper, in my also in the, in the life of my own helpers. Helpers of Kabam, hear the word of God. Begin to hear the voice of the Lord. So shall it be. I don't have peace more. I still want to pray. I want you to stand up to pray the prayer. I don't know. Something great help is coming before the end of this day. Thank God this is a good testimony. Some years ago, somebody God sent that person to Kappa. And he came purposely to, to promote the work of God, to help to do the things of God. And he came, God, he was fully prepared. And when he entered the church, he started, you know, one way or the other, Effort that God has sent to the ministry to be a member, to support, to do everything, and he knew that this is the reason. But do you know he was frustrated? Not by Pastor Peace and wife, but some people. And the person ran away. He left the wife and said, Ah! And he said, Any attempt that you want to do things, he will. In fact, and he said he did not like to do show, so he wanted to go through. And he said he was frustrated. And every effort to say, Why have you gone away? Until this year, about two months ago or a month ago, he came, even though during the pandemic, the person that person that anyone. And he said, Pastor, for more than seven times, I will see you in my dream. And God will be speaking to you. Go and meet your pastor. Go and reconcile. Go. You know, for over two years, I've called, call, call, call. He did not, in fact, they said he's not picking my call. And whenever they see me, somebody, he said he cannot talk because some forces in human form suppress, discourage, and frustrated that they run away. But by if not God, nobody can talk to this man and this woman, the wife to come back. Nobody. But God met him. He will, in fact, he said he has been to oh, don't say many places to go and pray on Monday. He said the moment he came back, he will dream. He said, You have gone to the wrong place. Go and meet. I sent you to Pastor Peace. Go and meet him. It's only God that convinced him. Even though me, I try, try, call, call. You know, some people, the more you call them, the more they are even running away. You become a nuisance if God did not uh, 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 intervene. So, some of you, there are some people God has assigned to you. But there are some agent and principality that we hinder that has hindered them, poison them, discourage them, and they don't want to help you any longer. This morning, there will be restoration of help. Thank you, Lord. The Lord, we are going to that's why I'm preaching on restoration this morning. I may not go too much far, but I see God speaking to me and to you now that the restoration he wants to do is restoration of help. Restoration of helpers. Those help you're supposed to have received. That some demonic agents, demonic spirits, has possessed some people and they have gone ahead to say, there was a case of somebody. When she is to be helped to, for school fees to be paid, and there is no money. This person did not have father. And the mother did not have money. And there is somebody in the family that God has blessed. And this man promised that when your father is alive, he's the one that God used to bless me, to help me, to do this and that. So I'm going to do all my best to sponsor you. And the man said, it's God has blessed you. But when it's time, when this person got admission to get money, did you know what the wife of that man said? Uh-uh. 
Is she the person you want to help? But she has mother. Why can't her mother? Don't waste your money. Did you know what the husband did? That was the her end. The devil used his wife. To, you know, sometimes you men, if you want to do something, if your wife wants you first time, second time, third time, if you don't listen, either good or bad, you will be in soup. And if you also, women, if your wife wants to help somebody and you say, hey, my wife, you have sat your mother. If, even though if the heart of that woman is sad, if you are going to want her two or three times, she will stop. Some of you, that is what is happening to your head. Anytime somebody wants to help you and you mistakenly say it, that is where discouragement will come. So you want to pray this prayer with Holy Ghost anger. So, and what I was saying, the person came and said, Pastor, in fact, more than seven times, that is, if not, because... come to me again. And within one month or two months, in fact, I thank God that he came back. Because many things that I have not been able to, it's not everything is not about money. It's not that he, he brought money, but relationship restored, joy restored. All the professional service that's supposed to be rendered to church that I can that you can receive, we have been receiving them. But if God, that is how we will lose that person forever. Because nobody can talk to them. And some people they did it that they nail them that they must not help cover. Internal and external enemy in and around you. The devil is choosing to stop your blessing. The Lord will expose them. And those your help are that you cannot go and meet and talk to. They have finished you. They have nailed you. That it is only God that can go and convince them to change their mind to begin to help you. Before the end of this month, I release several powerful angels to go and meet them. Speak to them. Convince them. Encourage them. Talk to them about you. And they will turn around. So we want to pray, say, oh Lord, oh Lord. By, your power, by your mighty power, go, send your angels, send the host of heaven to go and speak to my helper, to change their mind, whatever they have had, contrary, in any form, against me, against heaven, oh Lord, arise, go and speak to them, don't let them have peace of mind, don't let them be able to sleep until they change their mind, because you have ordained them to help me, all the exchange they pass and help, that the enemy has taken away, Lord, speak to them, Lord, restore them, God, speak to them, open your mouth and begin to pray, 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 Lord, arise in your power, restore our help, Restore our helpers. Restore our benefactors. Physically and spiritually. The helper that have been discouraged. The helper that have been poisoned. In the Kaposoti Yerakaba. Reke Posoti Yerakaba. Yesekete Yerakaba. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, speak to my helpers. Lord, convince my helpers. In the Mazakata Yerakaba. In the Zoto Yera. In Jesus' name we pray. I don't have a release in my spirit tomorrow. We are still going to pray. There was a man that called me recently about three months ago. He said, all the places he used to work, he doesn't used to apply. They used to, the moment he get there, he said, they will just love him. But within some time, we don't know what happened. The person will just, he said, the level to which they love him, that is the level, things will turn around to hate him. And he said there was a particular man that God has blessed to be his helper. He said this man, hey, in fact, he's, he said his earthly father cannot love him like this man. The man will come to his house, an elderly person will go to his house, anything. He said suddenly, he did not know what happened. If he go to this man, the man will just say, please, you can be going on. Anything, he said, but after prayer, seven days prayers. I asked this man to fast for seven days. Say he has not fasted before. I say it is the enemy that is doing you. You have to fast. I'm not a pastor, a kind of pastor that will tell you, send me money, I will fast for you. No, you will fast. We will pray together. Praise the Lord. Because I don't see where doctors used to do operation for people in absentia. You need a major operation. 
because of your money, they will say, don't worry, pay your 20 billion. We will do the operation on, in your absence. Don't worry, go on. No, spiritually, if you see any prophet telling you, don't worry, and uh, you'll be hitting like a, a, a prayer mountains. We will be fasting for you. There are sometimes you, you have to fast. You and your pastor, you fast together. If you are there is eight challenges, you can turn it to NVG or you may be breaking earlier. But for you to say you are not fasting because uh, uh, somebody is uh, nah, no, it's, it's not done. And after the seven days fasting and prayer, did you know the man called him back? I said, I don't know what happened. He said, something just turned against me to eat you. And the man called him back and the relationship had been restored. So sometimes when the enemy is attacking Epa, it may not be physical. It may be spiritual. Some people will just, some people love you, they will just begin to wait to pervert him. If you are in that position, God will turn things around to your people. Yeah. That people used to love you. But before, within two, three, one, two, four, five years, this relationship will turn sour. Not that you have done anything wrong, so that not that you have really actually committed any offense, but in your relationship you to turn toxic. Your efforts just used to turn against you. You need to pray to break the yoke. Praise the Lord. And the journey of your destiny will be delayed when efforts are not forthcoming. When efforts are supposed to help you for 20 years, just help you for two years, you will suffer more. But today, God is restoring those. Yeah. So you are going to pray. Say every joke, every joke, every bondage affecting me and my helpers, every yoke of darkness that don't allow help and help us to last in my life. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Break, break, break the yoke now. Praise every yoke of darkness that used to make a pass to turn against me at, at, suddenly without a genuine reason. In Masakapure Bosede, let the yoke break. 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 In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. You that person, pray. People used to love you, but suddenly they used to poison their mind. Demons used to poison their mind. They used to turn against you when you need that most. Pray, Lord, let this go break in my life. Let this go break in my ministry. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me share this with you. When I was in primary school, I always, I have one privilege, teachers always love me. First, they used to call me my teacher, teacher Peking. Because I don't act from, from, so, and the last teacher that loved me so much was when I was in primary six. He loved me so much. In fact, you know then, for a teacher, it's not common. In our old school, the old school, there maybe two people ask for motorcycle, and it's always the principal that used to have both waji. Uh, be to praise the Lord, and it's not common for headmaster to have that. That would be a very uh, 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 old headmaster that has worked maybe for 30 years. So, but our teacher has a motorcycle, he loved me so much that he used to, I'm not, we are not related, he used to carry me on his motorcycle anywhere he goes. He loved me because I'm so brilliant, and in school, I'm gentle, but I'm told at home is in reverse or in the street. But so they used to love me so much. And because of this Lord, they used to call, hey, or my teacher, yeah, before he asked questions, we answer. He said, he just loved me too much. But did you know, in primary school, some people had to cook. In fact, one of them, I'm not the class captain. The class captain come to meet me. You see, you are the one that uh, teacher law. You are there calling your teacher, and I will deal with you. He came to meet me. Did you know what he did? And in primary school, so, he gathered some information and lied against me. And he went to go, being the class captain, what did not happen, they packaged lies. And he, did you know, when they told this teacher, the teacher who loved me so much, he came the second day, was so furious. He said, you, so because I love you, you are the one doing all this thing. He said, I will, in fact, and he brought out a cake. He said today, Either you or me. So with all the benefits you have been, so this is what you want to use to repay. And something, even more before they did it, the person came to tell me that I will deal with you. 
and I will. All oh, this your Omatisha, uh, Omatisha, uh, the son, uh, he will be. I he did it with some people. In primary, no, there is no level, there, there, there is no conspiracy. Did you know this thing I'm talking about? Then I was gentle, but a little bit sober. I said, sir, I will not receive this thing. This person said he will do it. He lied against me. The teacher said, I don't want to hear anything. And as he raised the cane to kill me, I ran out of the class. He pursued me. He fell down. And when he fell down again, I said, I started running. He came back. He now asked all the boys, me, and I was so small. He said, all of them should pursue me. About 10 boys, they pursued me and they captured me. And when they carried me, they carried me, well, they were passing through a white man's office and they were doing meeting of all headmasters. And I was shouting, sir, these people want to kill me. I was shouting, knife, oh, but oh, and he came and looked about 10 people, big boys. And he saw me small among them. He said, ah, ah, you don't have shame. You want to kill this boy. He said, who is choosing there to stab you? Nobody. I look at him and say, it's you, it's you. He said, he, they just, he said, okay, leave him. You want to kill this small boy? Oh, yeah, leave him. And he asked me to say the front. So when they fit, before he finished it, I ran back home. Did you notice today I did not take the cane? But I nearly missed Conspiracy. Did you know when I got born again, about seven years ago, I had to go and meet that teacher. So I'm sorry. I did not do those things. You know, it was a plan. But till today, I did not take that cane. I did not take it. But what am I saying? In primary school, just because somebody loved me, some people conspired. So you too, there are some power that used to go and meet people that want to help you. That has promised to help you to any level. You will just see that things change. And they knew. And there are some also demons that used to do this spiritually. So you are going to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Any physical conspiracy. Any spiritual conspiracy. Against my help. Against my helper. In the name of Jesus. Let it scatter. Let it burn fire. It shall not stand. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Conspiracy, ongoing conspiracy. Whatever the enemy is doing from house to house, in the realm of the spirits, in the dream, in the physical, to poison the mind of my helpers. Those who want to help me to go gotta to stop them, to discourage them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, expose them. It shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Powers of darkness attacking my helpers. Every conspiracy, physical conspiracy, demonic conspiracy, anyone that devil has inspired to speak, to hinder, to stop my help, to poison the help of my benefactors and helpers against me. In the name of Jesus, I come against it, it shall not stand. I break the yoke. I stand against it, it shall not stand. I break the yoke in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke break. Let it 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 break. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If I, this is the prayer we want to pray, you will not pray that prayer again. All my strange elves since I've been born. Do you know you can recover them? Yes. Even though those who have died. <laughs> and your help is in their hand. God knows how to pass that and you will get it. Thank God for our former president in Nigeria, Abasha. There is there still some help in his hand. Do you know after he died, he still sends some money, he still sending money to Nigeria every year. He said, yes, every year we are still recovering. He has died though. He, and he, 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 may God, may he rest in peace. He died suddenly, you know. That is, there are some things that is supposed to use to bless Nigeria, but because it died suddenly, and there's nobody can, that can be queried. But every year, you know, is what I'm saying is not a rumor. Out, in, we don't know the one that we will meet again before the end of this year. So even though if your help is in the hand of any helper, I want to tell you, everyone can restore them. I say everyone can restore them. What of Mephibosheth? Uh, uh, when, when Jonathan his father has died, there are some help that he's supposed to receive. Jonathan, do you know Mephibosheth received it? He came back to palace. So you are going to pray. Say every help 
that has been manipulated away since I've been born by the power of restoration. I command restoration. Let me have help of cover my help locally and internationally that the enemy has manipulated that conspiracy has taken away I command in the name of Jesus let there be restoration I recover I recover I recover I recover in the name of Jesus restoration recovery pray 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 let there be recovery let there be restoration let there be recovery let there be restoration by the power of Holy Ghost Masa kata ya rakaba, yezeke te ya rekapa sonda, yezoko rekapa sonda kereba. Let there be restoration, O Lord. Restore my joy. Restore, restore, restore. In Jesus' name we pray. Then you will pray. Bugba wato lo anti ransi wa ransi ni ransi kafam lati na walo wo. They should give my the color on kutsu wa. That is. There are some people God has sent to help you. But sometimes devil used to tie helpers down. Some helpers, devil used to tie their hands. That is why some people say, ah, if not the cause of the situation they find themselves, you cannot be suffering like this. They mean it too. Why is it that it is people that have very hard to help that they used to be incapable? Is it that the people that genuinely love you and they want to carry your cross, they are the devil you choose, devil you to attack their blessing at the hand, the works of their hand today. The Lord will release them. Amen. Any helper that their hand is tied, that they are, they are, they are, they are, the devil has attacked them because of you, the Lord will release them. Amen. Those that God must bless to bless you. Those that God must deliver to deliver you. Today, God must deliver them. The Lord must lose their hands. The Lord must bless them. Those that God must bless to bless Kappa. I see some people, genuinely, they want to bless the world. You know, I've been saying it over that God wants to raise 10 people to build the, the house of God that we are working on. Did you know, since then, we just have about three to four. And out of the theory of four, it's only one or two that has started doing something. But there are some, he's pinning them. That they want a living church like Kafam to bless, but they don't have. But because it is time for our help, those that genuinely love this ministry and they want to work for us, and they want to work for God, and they want to be a blessing, the Lord will bless them. Amen. Okay, you are not saying amen. Maybe you don't want God to bless you. I say, I want you to turn it to prayer. Say, oh Lord, my Father, oh my all my helpers that have been made redundant, that their hand has been tied, that the devil is attacking their force. Go and deliver them. Go and bless them. Go and release them. All the helpers of Kappa, all the helpers of my ministry, and the helpers of my destiny, that the devil has discouraged, has incapacitated, that things are not working as they are expecting. Lord, today I cry out to heaven. Release them. Release the chain in their hand. Let, release them. Release their business. Release their marriage. Give them joy. Give them testimony. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, release them. Release them. Release them. Bless them. Release them. Help us of my joy, a part of my ministry, a part of cover, a part of your glory. That devil has discouraged, that devil has tied down, that devil has made rendered impotent, that devil has rendered powerless. Oh Lord, by your mercy, release them, deliver them, set them free in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, by your mercy, have your will, Lord, have your will, Lord, take control in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So you will pray. I'm not preaching again. We are praying till the prayers more. If you say you have not been blessed, now you know, but we have been blessed. You are going to prophesy. Okay. Say, my helpers. My helpers. Hear the voice of the Lord. Yeah. Wherever you are. Whatever, Whatever you may be doing. In any part of the world. Yeah. The voice of God. And come to my head. No more delay. Open your eyes. Help us. Help us of 
of Tapa, a part of my joy, a part of my destiny, wherever you may be, out of the world, hear the voice of God, arise, in any situation you may be, in any predicament you are going through, arise, help me, arise, help me, arise, hear the voice of God, you must no longer resist, you must no longer be discouraged, and as you rise to help, let the blessing of God overtake you, let the miracle of God begin to happen in your life, pray, pray, pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, those whom God has been using to help me, let them begin to receive the blessing of God. Do you know why you have to pray that prayer? Do you know some people, why they don't help you again? Some people, anytime they help some people, they will, they will run into trouble. And there is some power that wants that person to suffer more. But today, anyone that help Kapam, the, the heaven will help them. Amen. Anyone that bless Kapam, God will bless him. Amen. You too, anybody that bless you, your life will become a fertile ground. Amen. That they will be looking for you to bless. Amen. They'll be looking for me to bless. Amen. They begin to say, in fact, anytime you don't have money and you give money to the person. I want to tell you this. It's a testimony. If you don't know, go and try it. Praise the Lord. There is somebody that I know that if you are stranded, if you give that person money, the heavens will be open. I know three people like that. Mention them. If I mention them, will you go and try it? Praise the Lord. One of them is my father in the Lord, Pastor Wally Olaji. And another one is my wife. Anytime I'm expecting some money, she will not know. I will just say, take this. Say for what? I say, no, just take it. Just take it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm telling you. If you think I'm lying, go and try. I'm, see, I'm serious. And the third person is myself. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so I believe people that are listening. I know theory. There are many others. I'm not. You are plenty. You, in fact, you, you are one of them. You, this is a worship. Yes, yes, you that brother, yes, you are one of them. So that I do nothing. But I'm just out of the thousands. Let me just speak to you. Praise the Lord. So one, one I'm serious, is my father in the Lord. The last time I paid my tithe to him, I know what happened that week to me. Praise God. And when I said, he said, ah, my son, the tithe came at the time. If I had to pray for me that day, the second day he also pray for me. And he said, do you know? He said, ah, he will say you will never, even though I'm not even sometimes, I know I want, he doesn't need to pray for me. Most of the time, we may not talk, he will not, he will just, if I will not even recognize, you don't need to. Some of you, when you give, you will still want to sit down with it. Have you seen the alert? Have you, it's not necessary. Some, some people, if they give you something, if you don't thank them 20 times, they will not be happy. It's good, they'll be appreciated. But when you give to people of God, don't expect that uh, and maybe the money is too small. Maybe that is why. If, for example, 100 people are sending money to a man of God, do you want him to be calling those 100 people? It's not. It, and sometimes when you give to the church of God, to a man of God, it is for God. It's God that we appreciate you. Don't expect commendation. The reason why some people are not sending money to church account is that they want Pastor Peace to see their life. It is not even anywhere you send it to, God will see their life and He will bless you. So anytime I bless my father and the Lord, that seed or tithe, I'm always blessed. And not only me, and my wife. And then I people, whenever people bless me, they are always blessed. So if you are looking for three people to bless, at least you have to it and you will see testimony. So, but you will pray. Lord, make my life a blessing. All my helper that God has been using to bless me, Lord, bless them. And anyone that will be helping me today, let them begin to receive the blessing of God. In the name of God, open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. All the people that God has been using for me, Lord, begin to bless them. Make my life a fertile ground that anyone that helps me, 
they will receive in return in hundred fold, in thousand fold, in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray that God will begin to bless them, that they, should, they will not lack help of God. Anyone that bless Kappa, all Lord begin to bless them. Those who are blessing Kappa, let their life be a blessing. Those who are blessing this, and those who will be blessed. To shame, we no longer go down, they will no longer be attacked in the name of Jesus. The blessing of God will begin to operate in their life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Father. We thank you for the message of today. I pray there will be restoration of heaven, Amen. restoration of efforts. You now passing the efforts you need. The help you need for the next level, receive them in the name of Jesus. Receive, 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 receive the help, receive the help. Your family receive it, your business receive it, your work receive it. You're in the name of Jesus. I pray God will cause you to encounter your efforts in the name of Jesus. Let me share this testimony about three to four years ago. We are my wife used to plait her hair, do her hair. She was plaiting her hair that day, gently. And she saw one lady cry. What has happened? This lady supposed about four years ago, four or five years ago. This lady supposed to have been admitted. She has passed her wife, her job. But a year before, she couldn't go because there is no money, no father. It was only her mother taking care of about five to six children. And nothing for her, even though to feed them. But this girl, she got admission a year, she defied. If the start year that she wanted to go for admission, somebody promised her a money. And she went to go and collect the money, 100000 to pay school fees in the federal university. And when she was coming, inside the vehicle, the taxi that she bought, it, they collected the money. She lost the money. So as she came back, she was crying. She was rolling on the floor, and my wife was there. And my wife said, what happened? Both the lady and the mother, they were crying. This is what happened. She said she missed admission last year. This year now that she will miss it again, 100,000. Some family that they cannot raise 10,000. They cannot raise 5,000. She started rolling. And did you know what happened? My wife said, don't worry, don't cry. My wife prayed for her, preached to her. And my wife said, oh God, come and meet I will tell my husband that it's me. God will help us. And she brought this lady. We don't know how. And I said, don't worry. We will pay this in peace. It was like a dream. We paid it to me and my wife. And today, she's serving now. What am I saying? She has finished serving. Can you see? Praise the Lord. She's, she has finished serving now. BSC order. If not that my wife was there to play her here that day, and we did not know them, we are not related, nothing, nothing. But today, to the glory of God, I said, Don't worry, how much is this increase? Don't worry. Go and be preparing, you are going to school, you are going to. She has, she has finished her now to the glory of God. Father, in the name of Jesus. You will meet your destiny at us. Somebody you don't know. Somebody that you know. Somebody that is in a position. Are in any way, God will connect you. The wedding arrangements. For you to get that visa. For you to get that job. For you to be married. For you to finish your school. For you to do well. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. You will receive efforts. You will receive efforts. In the restoration of help. You will meet efforts. Your children will meet efforts. Destiny efforts We connect with you. So shall it be. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, all the efforts of Carpenter, Lord bless you. All those who are blessing us, sending seeds, sending tithe, as from today you are blessed. 
and those who want to be happy now, who want to be doing the work of God, you will no longer be discouraged. Those who have been manipulated away, God will encounter them. They will come back. The Lord will silence any evil voice, physically, spiritually, against our helpers. In the name of Jesus. Now, bring out your tithe and offering. If you have your tithe, you have your offering, give it now. I want to pray for you. Those who are sent, those who are sending, and those who will still send, I want to pray for you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray into your seed, into your tithe, and those who have been sending for the work of God, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord take away shame and financial reproach. You will never lie. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will enlarge your course. Your joy shall be full. In the name of Jesus. Ah, as from today, help will come to your doorstep. Help will locate you. And you too, you will be a helpers of destiny. As you are receiving help, may God help you to help others. In the name of Jesus. And his name shall be glorified. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Your offering is blessed. Your tithe is blessed. Your seed is blessed. Your uh, pledge is blessed. In Jesus' name. As you are dropping in and as you are forwarding in. I believe it should be the account number should be put in the comment box. Um, we'll be even be putting it on the Facebook uh, under it every every service so that you see. But if you want to connect, you want to be part of what God is doing. God has been speaking to you, but you don't know how to do about it. You can call me, send a message to me that Pastor, I want to partner with God in your ministry. And my number is zero eight zero three five eight zero six five zero zero. Or you, send, or you send to the uh, inbox of the email uh, of the of the Facebook. You just connect and we'll reach to you. Put your number and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. By the grace of God on Tuesday, another program will be taking place at this same hour, 10 a.m. And it's, 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 it's a joke of marital video. The next week old is very, very, Tuesday is very, very important. Don't miss it. And on Thursdays and Fridays is our weekly online review. Join us. God will bless us. For any inquiries, counseling, and prayers, you can connect, you can call, and you can, you can send your message. God will answer your prayers in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.